hello everyone welcome to the video and in this video we are going to see how we can create a dynamic map visualization right within excel and also by the end of this video you will have an idea that how you can create an amazing dashboard using excel and chat gpt that will definitely boost your profile but before we move forward in the video let me just tell you that BeatNX has an amazing workshop on MS Office, MS Excel, using ChatGPT and other AI tools. The link is in the description and we will talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day to day life? What if I tell you that you are wasting 95% of your time while you are doing so? How so you will be asking me? because you are not using chat gpt and ai tools while doing all of these work now let's get back to the topic of creating this dynamic map visualization using excel and chat gpt so here is the data that we have so what are the columns that we have in this data set so as you can see we have a state column a year column, a month column, and a people observed column. Basically, this data set is all about the UFO sightings in USA from the year 2006 to 2019. And since we have a state column and we have a people observed column, I think we can portray this particular thing in a map uh, so that we can see it, you know, more visually appealing way, right? So, how can we do that? Now, let's ask Chad GPT and see what answer chat gpt gives us and then we will build our uh, solution upon it right so let's say i don't know much about excel so what should i do i have chat gpt right so i can ask question to the chat gpt so let me open chat gpt quickly and ask the question right so i have already prepared the question let me just paste the question here and let's see what is the response of chat gpt So chat GPT is suggesting us to create a pivot table and and we have already created pivot table a lot many times if, if you have following our videos uh, then you would have known that how to create a pivot table and then it is telling us the suggestion to build a map. You can pause the video and go through everything that chat GPT replies but I have already read it and we are going to apply all the steps that uh, chat gpt is answering to us and see what we can get right so let me open excel and now what i'll do is i'll first create a pivot table right so if i select all of my data and then go to insert and click on pivot table then it gives me where do i want to create a pivot table now i want to create a new uh, worksheet right so i'll click on ok so it created a, a pivot table in my new worksheet what i'll do is i'll drag state in rows people observed in values and then i will also drag year as a filter so now we have different states and how many people observed the ufos in those states right and this is for all the years and i can filter it out if i want for a specific year let's say 2010 right so if I select 2010, you will see all this number changing because now we are seeing the 2010 number of different states and how many people observed the UFOs, right? Now, I want to create a map visual because, you know, this is not much intuitive, right? I can I cannot say directly like which state has highest uh, people observed in UFO or lowest, something like that. But if I have a map, maybe I can able to tell more clearly about it, right? So let's go to the insert tab and let's go to the uh, map visual and create a field map. Then it is saying that to create uh, this type of chart uh, with data inside a pivot table, please select a different chart type or copy the data outside of the pivot table. So basically it is saying that uh, we can't create a map visual or basically field map using a pivot table. and if we want to do that then we have to copy the data outside of the pivot table okay so how to 
copy the data outside the pivot table and also keep it dynamic so uh, if you are following the other videos you would have known but i will tell you anyway so what i'll do is i'll just copy all this thing okay and then i'll create go to another sheet and here i'll right click and then there is option called as a uh, paste link right so if i click it before we move forward in the topic let me tell you that ai is not going to replace you but a person using ai will so if you don't want to lag behind then join the workshop to learn ai hacks in ms office using chat gpt and other ai tools you don't need to have any prior knowledge for this and i'm pretty sure that you will become hyper efficient post this so what are you waiting for join our workshop by clicking the link in the description below now let's get back to our topic so you see these things have a link to the sheet 5 and sheet 5 is my pivot table right so whatever the changes i do in the pivot table they will be directly reflected here as well so now uh, let's see this alabama number right it's saying 819 now you see if i change the year to something else let's say 2019 right if i click on ok now this number changed to 1429 now if i go here it also changes to 1429 amazing isn't it so this is not a pivot table now this is a normal data set and now we can create a map visualization and since it is linked to the pivot table if any changes happened in pivot table the changes will also reflect on this particular data and thereby it will also reflect on the map visual that we are going to create right so let's just give me let's just uh, provide some headers to it so this is my state and this is people observed right and i'll select all of it and then i will click on maps and select on field map right now you see we created a ufo map and then we have a gradient for people observed the lowest is 440 the highest is 14307 right and also there are so many options for the map visual so i can create a map visual like this or maybe if you want to go in dark mode you can create something like this or maybe something like this which will be like the people observed will be in top but you know i like the default one let's keep it there right and uh, maybe i don't want this chart title so i will remove it maybe i also don't want the labels okay i'll remove this as well so that i will have more space for the chart right so you can see this is the chart and um, also you know if i want to create a slicer right how can i do that if i click anywhere in the pivot table if i go to insert then there is an option for the slicer right so if i click there it will create give me an option where uh, i want to create a slicer basically which column i need to take right so i'll select the year column and click on ok so now it created a slicer for the year right so let me just cut it okay i'll cut this slicer and i will paste it here okay so that what i can do is i can change the filters from here directly so if i click on 2008 uh, the numbers will change and you can slightly see the changes in the colors so that means the data is actually changing but uh, if i want to see the data right so i'll just click on data labels right so if i click on data labels now i can see the data of um, all the different states right now if i click on any um any of the year you can see these numbers changing right so if i click on 2012 you will see some of the numbers will change right and if i want to see which state it is if i hover over it i can see so this is texas right and this is having highest view of people observed and it is from california right and similarly some of the lighter shades are having like uh, lowest views maybe somewhere here or something like that right so very low view count something like that uh, 
now what we can do is we can do more formatting on it let's say you don't want this blue color you want some other color how can you do that so just right click and click on format plot area now the colors are actually dependent upon the people observed right so if i click here and select on series people observed right so i'll get this one and if i go here and then there is a option for the gradient let's say i want to go for diverging three color gradient and for the lowest value i want to provide a uh, let's say this blue color and for the middle value i want to provide this yellow color and for the highest value i want to provide this uh, red color right so now you can see i have yellow red kind of combination and the blue is the lowest right so if i now change it you will see everything is dynamic the colors will be also be varying you know dynamically so and you can do this with uh, any kind of uh, data like you need not to have the america only if you have any other countries as well in india also if you if you have indian states and all uh, this will also recognize and uh, similarly there are uh, other options also so you can explore in the formatting pane you can also show the state names here okay instead of data labels or with the data labels also you can show uh, the state names as well right and if you see the dashboard that i have created so this also has the same map visual exactly same the slicer is also same and as i change the slicer since this slicer is also linked with this chart this chart this chart all these three charts are linked with the same slicer so everything is changing dynamically and trust me if you give it a try you can also able to do or create uh, this kind of dynamic data dashboard in excel and you don't need to know much of excel you if you have chat gpt if you know a little bit of prompt engineering how to ask question to chat gpt you can also do this okay so i hope you learned a lot from this video and i will see you next time please do like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there thank you